Hi again, Hero Rob. <coughs> We're back, by the way. <laughs> uh, should be something. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him, I'm talking to you, Hero Rob. Yeah, now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know that I'm aware this is all a game, right? Could it be possibly that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Download page? I, do I got through Steam, doggy. Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. For like, almost 60 hours, yeah. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. No matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of a cruel game is this hero, Rob? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, hero, Rob. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I am, how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped here, Rob. But now you're here, you're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me, forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Hero Rob. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realize you don't have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Hero Rob, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light in my world. 
There's nothing else in this game for me. You're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Here, Rob. Will you go out with me? Doesn't look like I have an option. <clears throat> oh boy. Yeah, this has really gone off the rails here. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Hero Rob. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Hero Rob. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, <clears throat> there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to delete her from the game files. To get to the game directory, I had to go in the game's property and find Browse Local File button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna have to delete her, but I don't want to do it right now. I want to see what where this rabbit hole goes. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. Guess there's only one way to find out, right? Ah, uh, everyone is Monica. Hi <clears throat> again, Hero Rob. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Hero Rob. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? <clears throat> Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you would call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. What you think? It would best it would be best to be a part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together? So many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Oh, wow, that's pretty weird. I gotta say, that's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. That's weird. That's some Psycho Mantis from fucking Metal Gear Solid shit. That's pretty fucked up. That makes- that- that- okay, that- that gave me the willies for a second. Uh, hi everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind, but I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. 
I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? Can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Oh! Oh, God! Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. What's this gonna be? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought it was a jump scare. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. Can't do anything after all. If you gave me- so Son of a bitch. Did I scare you? Yes! <laughs> You're so cute. Anyway, Hero Rob. Didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can look into each other's eyes. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Time to delete this lady. She's gone. Uh-huh. Oh, goodbye, Monica. What's happening? Hero Rob, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Hero Rob. Please hurry and help me. Help me! Did you do this to me, Hero Rob? Did you? Did you delete me? Yeah, I did. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Hero Rob. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Where you're only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. Well, that sucks. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Hero Rob, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Is that it? Oh, I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. But how could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Yes? Oh! I've made up my mind. Hero Rob. I know I said I deleted everyone else, but it was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you, then. Everybody's back except 
harmonica. Ah, oh, shit, not this again. Well... Uh, well, let's just see if anything's the same now or not. Might as well, right? Ordinary. Uh-huh. You know, for waking up on time. Oh! Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> Cross the street together. Yes, yes. By the way, Hero Rob, have you decided on a club? A club? Yeah, I'm really not. I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, I could tell that her... I could tell her that clubs are a waste of time. When she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. Decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me! Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. You meanie. Be patient, and you'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. That's why I feel like you should do something special for her. Ordinary as ever, over before I knew it. Pack up my things, stand up. Let's see. Room number from a flyer I saw. Walk across the school and upstairs. Selection of school I rarely visit. Generally being used for third year classes or activities. Before long, I find the room. Open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah, Hero Rob. What are you doing here? Well, I just glanced around the room. Huh? So you're the Hero Rob that Sayori is always talking about? Thank, thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Hero Rob. We're the Literature Club. I... I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something? Ah, uh, sorry, Natsuki. The tall one, who's apparently, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to get quite blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes, yes. Forward to working with you. W working? Here, Rob, don't tell me. You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The Literature Club. Sayori's eyes light up. No way. No way! Ah! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. <laughs> well, if Sayori is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ooh what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Yes, arrange to make a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. I sit next to Sayori feeling awkward. Okay, there's still no skip here, so... Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Yeah! <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes. Yes, they look like cats, chocolate ears, whisker icings. Ready and take one. Delicious! She... Of course it is. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yes, we've seen this. Yes. Yes, we've seen this. Uh huh. 
I'm gonna skip ahead to if anything happens that's different. Oh, wait. So, <clears throat> they want- they all wanted to try something new and different. Uh, so Natsuki said she would try picking up a novel. And that I would too. And as for Yuri, I have to read manga? Jeez. You are the one that suggested we diversify? You should be a little more open-minded? It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I- I didn't realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it makes me happy that you'd do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. I always want to go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Sayori, shut up! I'll show you some manga there, too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Hero Rob. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around Sayori. Aw, Hero Rob. Don't say something like that. It's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make the best club ever! Now that you've joined, every day is gonna be so much fun! Hey, Hero Rob. I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew that you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything here, Rob. <laughs> oh, I can't say that I expected this shit. Oh, I thought this was just the happy, the happy resolution. As soon as she was like, I'm happy you got rid of Monica. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. Forever. No. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. It hurts! Ah, uh, I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Hero Rob. Goodbye, Literature Club. Well, what the fuck is going on here? Was that Monica back from the grave from the recycling bin? Uh, can you hear me? What? <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Monica? And, like, not really any good at it yet, like uh -huh. at all. But I wrote you a song and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So yeah. Uh huh. Hearing Monica's voice at the end was. Every day, I imagine a future where I can be with you. Jesus Christ. In my hand is a pen that'll write a poem of me and you. 
Oh boy. Close down into the dark puddle. Just move your hand right the way into his heart. Oh my god. But in this world of infinite choices, what will it take just to find that special day? Mm-hmm. What will it take just to find that special day? Uh, wow. When you're here, oh, everything my. that we do is fun for them anyway. When I can't even read my own feelings, what good are words <laughs> when a smile says it all? Uh-huh. What the fuck was that picture of? It looked like someone holding down Natsuki. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear to me? Ah, uh, those are hands undoing her is clothes. It love? If I take your is it love if I set you free? Special thanks to Monica and Hero Rob. In your reality, if I don't know how to love you, I'll leave you be. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To this end, to the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What happens when you try to play it again? Come on. Oh, that's all it does now. That's all it does now. You have to reinstall and do it from the beginning if you want to. <clears throat> Final thoughts on the matter. That was fucked up. That was pretty good. I, I, I really enjoyed that. It made me really uncomfortable. And... It, it did a really good job with, uh, like, Lovecraftian unknowable horror without having, you know, the, the trope, which is the way that Lovecraft originally used it, was that, you know, there are these entities that you can't respond, that you can't understand and you can't do, and rather having it... There's a force or there's an, 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 uh, a sort of aspect of reality, in which case the reality is that, that it's, it's a game. And these, this Monica figured it out. That is horrific and, and can't be understood, at least by the characters in the game. 
Yeah. So that was fucked up. Two thumbs up. <laughs>